Hi, I'm David Collier. I'm going to talk about my latest report where I went undercover in a secret Facebook group to expose key Jewish anti-Zionist activists and their relationship with people who share material from neo-Nazi or white supremacist websites. In public, these Jewish activists are the most vocal in suggesting that there is little or no anti-Semitism. In private, they joke about and belittle the allegations. But who are they joking about anti-Semitism with? The report exposes in stark detail that these activists are laughing about anti-Semitism with people who post white supremacist material, Holocaust denial, and take their cues from neo-Nazi websites. They say, as a Zionist, I am the enemy. But these Jewish activists spend time attacking Israel alongside people who share material from neo-Nazi sites like Stormfront, The Daily Stormer, Rents, White Resistor and The Renegade Tribune. Those people are their allies and I am the enemy. Let me show you a couple of examples. First up, Ariel Gold, a Jewish anti-Zionist activist with Code Pink. Here, Ariana Love is complaining about being called an anti-Semite. Now, Ariel jumps in to calm her down. She doesn't ask what happened or what was said. So, does Ariana share anti-Semitic material or not? Well, here she is sharing the Renegade Tribune, a neo-Nazi white supremacist website. The subject matter? Holocaust denial. And here she is again, saying that six million dying in the Holocaust was, in her words, a hoax. Another to come to Ariana's defence was the infamous Eliane Green. And here's Eliane sharing an article from the rabidly racist website Political Velcraft. Another example from the report will be Rabbi David Mivaser, who is on the Rabbinical Council for Jewish Voice for Peace. The rabbi is on record saying that the false charges of anti-Semitism are often deployed to silence honest discussion about Israel and that he opposes anti-Semitism 100%. Now there is one extraordinary thread where Mivaser comments with seven other people and every single person on that thread with a good rabbi had shared anti-Semitic material and five of them had shared material from neo-Nazi or white supremacist websites. They shared Rothschild or Mossad conspiracy theories, Holocaust denial, neo-Nazi or white supremacist material. Now these two examples are only the tip of the iceberg. There are 270 pages of detailed research and these are not the only characters from both Code Pink and JVP in the report. And let's not forget the writers from Wonderice, who have created a virtual industry of anti-Semitism denial, while several of them are mixing it up in this group with people who share some of the most disgusting and disgraceful anti-Semitic websites on the web. You can download the full report from the link in the description below.